Hi guys, this is Clara Hudson of While They Play Designs, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do a knit front and back mirror stitch. Um, I also call this a KFB mirror. And what I mean by this is when you increase in your work by one stitch, normally a knit front and back stitch is worked in the, in the first stitch and then worked in the back loop of that stitch. And what that does is it creates a right lean in your work and it creates that increased stitch just to the left of your original stitch. So you can see all of the KFBs here along my fourth stitch of my work. And you can see that they create that increase just to the left of the original stitch. And this is fine when you're working a pattern where you don't really care about the uh, placement of your increases. But if you are working on a toe up sock or something with shaping where you want it to be mirrored, as in the case of the swatch, you can see that I placed my KFB mirror stitch and it actually happens to the right of our original stitch. So I'll show you how to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and work over to the point where I'm gonna place that KFB mirror. So first we slip that stitch knitwise onto our right hand needle and then place it back on the left hand needle purlwise. So we've changed the orientation of our stitch and then we're going to knit into the front bar, knit that stitch and remove it from our needle. And now we're going to insert our left hand needle through the stitch one row back. So one row underneath the stitch on our needle. We're gonna go in from left to right into that right bar, lift that up, and then we're going to knit into the back loop of that stitch as you normally would. And then we'll remove that original stitch from our needle and we've created the knit front and back mirror. So I hope this technique helps you guys out. Thanks so much for watching.